Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to learn how to reset a voicemail password in the Avaya IP office using the manager software. Um, manager software can easily be found just by typing in a search, type in manager, and it should pop right up. If it's on your computer, it'll have to have been downloaded and installed ahead of time. Um, then you just click that to open it. I already have mine open here, so I'll bring it up. Um, once you're in it, you're going to go up here and open configuration from IP office. Uh, it'll bring up your IP office. You say OK. Put your password in here. Say OK. And we'll wait just a moment for it to uh, download the data from the IP office processor. Um, one thing to note is whatever you're doing when you're programming in here is you're not doing it live. Every, you download a a config and then once you're done you upload a config so if you ever make a mistake or you get confused or how I get here or what did I click you can always just close it down open it back up and uh, pull the pro pull the uh, config down again and try again um, also useful to note if you ever get interrupted and for some reason you step away from manager for an extended period of time uh, you, go out to, you go to lunch and you forget about it Always close your config and open it back up because you don't ever know if someone has turned on do not disturb or change your password while you're gone, you're going to revert it all back. So just good practices not to leave uh, your config up. So when you come in, it should look similar to this. Um, and what you're going to see, you may not see this center uh, panel here, this group panel. So if, if you don't, if it looks like this, I just go up here and click the show group pane and it'll make it a little bit easier for you to navigate. Um, you're going to come down to here to user and you're going to find your user that you want to change their voicemail password. So we're going to pick Jim Gordon here. Um, we're going to go over to his voicemail tab and you'll see, you can't see what it is, but you can see that there's a password in there. So what we're going to do is just highlight it and erase it. Um, in the older versions, um, we're using one of the newest versions. Uh, in the older versions, you might have to also get out of here and erase it in the confirm tab too. Um, or at the confirm box, but in the newer version, it'll erase both. Now you can enter a new password in here. Like you could type in one, two, three, four, or whatever it is, um, and just tell the user this is your new password. But for best practice and for security, we're just going to wipe it out, and I'll tell you, and we'll also leave it down in the uh, description how then the user can set up their new uh, password. So once you're done there, you hit OK, and then we're going to come up here. You'll now see the save icon is now blue because there's something to save. Now, like I was saying, when you click on this and then when you say merge, this is now sending the, uh, the configuration back up to the IP office. Um, if this says anything other than merge, you've definitely have done something wrong. Close out the config and start over. Um, so once you say OK, you're going to now have the user from their own uh, telephone. They're going to dial star 17. The system's going to prompt them to uh, enter in their extension number followed by the pound. Um, just have them press pound. Uh, system is then going to prompt them to enter in their password and also and then press pound but you just erase their password so just press pound here as well uh, the system will then um, lead them through and en enter entering a new password in and then confirming it and then they're good to go that's all it that needs to happen um, so come back next week we'll have uh, more quick tips and uh, if you have any questions, leave them below and we'll, we, uh, we always do our best to answer them. Or if you have any ideas for future videos, by all means, please ask them here. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great week.